Hello everyone, I'm Yuta Akiyama. This time I'm going to show you how to make a high quality fake video in Stable Diffusion with multiple people. In the last video, I introduced how to make a high quality fake video with just one person. If you haven't seen the video yet, please check the link in the summary column. Let's get started with the multiple people. Please start the Stable Diffusion web UI. Move to Move and Reactor are already installed. In the previous video, I introduced how to download and expand Move to Move and Reactor. Please refer to the previous video from the link in the summary column. This is the video I'm going to change this time. It's like this. I'm going to change the face of the video where these two women are dancing to AI vision. This is the AI vision of the multiple people that I'm going to change. Let's get started. Before you start making a video with move to move I'm going to check if I can change the faces of the multiple people with image to image. The first thing I want you to do is to split the video into frames with this appropriate tool. The tool I'm going to use this time is a free tool called mConverter, which can split the video into frames online. Please upload a dance video here. Click PNG. By doing this, you can split the video into frames. For example, the video has been split. It will be output to the image like this. Next, I'm going to check if I can change the faces of the two people with image to image. This time, I'm going to use beautiful realistic as a checkpoint. The prompt is blank. Please upload the appropriate image that split the previous video here. I'm going to choose this image this time. The next thing I want you to do is to click on this triangle mark and change it to the same size as the original image. Next, change the denoising strength to zero. This value is the value to set the change rate, and by setting it to zero, you can check the change only in the reactor. Next, click on the reactor tab. First, click Enable here. Next, upload the AI vision image to this single source image. Here it is. If you click Save Original, you can save the image of the face before changing the face in the reactor. I'm going to check this time. Next, I'm going to set up the source image. In the case of the comma separated face number, the first face is 0, the next face is 1, and the next face is 2. It's not in order from 1, so you need to be careful. I'm going to type in 0.1 like this. You need to be careful not to make any extra blank spaces between these commas. In this case, 0 is the woman on the left and 1 is the woman on the right. Next, I'm going to set up the target image, which is also in the order of 0.1.2 from the left, so I'm going to change it to 0.1. This is 0, and this woman on the right is 1. If you want to change this left face to the right one, change this value to 1 per and adjust it. Next, I'm going to check the code former that adjusts the blurry part after changing the face. I want to make the code former weight stronger, so I'm going to set it to 0. Click generate with this. Now the processing is complete. This is the original image, and this is the image after the change. You've got a good face, haven't you? Now that I've got a good face, I'm going to run the move to move in this setting. Next, move to the tab of move to move. Enter the same parameter and upload the video. Upload dance video. Please note that this is a video. This is also blank. Click resize triangle. Adjust denoising strength to zero. Please uncheck this movie editor. Next, click the tab of Reactor and Enable. Upload the AI visual as before. Enter 0.1 and 0.1 here as well. Change it to 0 with the code former. Now that the settings are complete, click Generate in the same way. Let's wait for the processing results for a while. This is the video output after the processing is completed. 
here it is. There's a little bit of flicker in the face. If the distance between the face and the camera is a little further away. I think you can make a more natural video like the previous video. You can also use this method to create a beautiful walk, which is a hot topic right now. By the way, at the end of this video, click the SD Stable Diffusion Web UI in the SD folder. It's in the Outputs folder. Click Move to move videos in this. You can download the MP4 file like this. How was today's video? If you use the Reactor Web UI, you can freely specify the face and exchange the face. If you find this video useful, please give us a high rating and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. See you in the next video.